Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Visual Locks. So this is a really cool plugin which adds a GUI to locked chests where you have to put in the correct code for it to open. And if you don't put in the correct code, uh, it won't let you in. Now if you are an op, you can force open. Um, if you're not an op, that won't appear, thankfully. But um, I'm going to show you how to use this. So first of all, we have our combination uh, digits over here. So you, using the banners, you can do 1 to 9, uh, including 0, I believe, uh, which is pretty cool. And it tells us the owner and the location up here. And there's a cancel if we don't want to get in anymore. So luckily, I do know the code. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. And if we hit enter, it will let us in. And we can steal the diamonds out of there and put them in our own chest. The problem is, our chest isn't protected. Well, how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is visual, followed by lock, and then lock, followed by the code. But um, I'm going to quickly unlock it, uh, just to make sure that it's uh, not locked. And now we can go ahead and lock it. So we're going to choose a code of four digits. So if you choose more or less than four, it will give you an error message saying it's too long or short. So we're going to choose 1212, there we go, and if um, my other account tries to get in, he will have to put in the code and um, obviously he doesn't know it, so he can't get in. But the good thing is, I don't have to put it in every time because it's my chest and I locked it. So that's really, really cool. So yeah, uh, you can purchase this plugin off Spigot. Uh, make sure you create an account first and then you will get the uh, purchase button on the top right hand corner. Um, lots of people get confused with that, so make sure you do that first. And yeah, that's the plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.